Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create navigation rail in Flutter. Navigation rail is actually a navigation bar that plays vertically. This widget can be found commonly in web pages, which you can change the content of the web page without navigation. So now let's jump into the code. So here I have created a very simple Flutter application that only has an app bar. And we will create the navigation rail step by step in the body of the scaffold. Usually the navigation rail will stick to the left of the application. So here I will wrap the navigation rail with a row widget. So navigation rail widget requires two parameters which is destinations and selected index. So here we will give some default value for selected index as 0 and an empty array for destination. Now to make the navigation rail align to left, we can set the cross axis alignment of the row to start. Next, we will create the destination for navigation rail. In the destination parameters, we will add navigation rail destination widget. This widget accepts an icon and a label as the parameters. And this widget represents each item in the navigation rail. So for the first item, I will create a home icon and with a home text label. Next, I will duplicate multiple real destination widgets and customize the icon and label tags. So now I have created three items in the navigation rail. Let's hot restart the application and see how it looks. And this is how it looks in the application. When we click on each destination, it's not responsive right now. And the label is not showing as well. Firstly, let's set the label to be visible for all destination. In order to do that, we need to create a navigation rail label type. And this label type will be set to all. Next, to make the navigation real responsive, we need to create an integer and change the integer value during on press of each destination. Next, we will set the integer value and the label type to the navigation real parameters. Now let's hot restart the application. So as you can see, the label for each destination appeared, but it's still not responsive yet. To make it responsive, we need to add a function on on destination selected parameter. And in this function, we will just update the destination value to the selected index integer that we created. Now when we click on each destination, it becomes responsive. So this navigation rail widgets actually provides a lot of customization parameter, such as changing the background color or changing the selected and unselected label text style and unselected or selected icon theme and so on. And here is some tips and trick. If you want to hide the label text, you can set the label type to none. But setting the label type to none will affect on all destination. If you want certain destination label text to be hidden, you can set it to all and on that destination label, just set the text to an empty string. And this is how it looks. So this is how you create navigation rail or vertical sidebar menu in Flutter application. Here comes to the end of the tutorial. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. See you in the next tutorial.